So I started painting when I was, um, I first, my first medium was painting and then I moved into film, um, performance, sound, um, and then sculpture. And then, yeah, I had this history of dance. Um, so I guess they're all, they've all been tools for me um, to, to kind of navigate through and with. Um, but it's, it's like, a, yeah, often I'll have an idea and the medium will, it's about finding the right medium for, for that idea and, and often it presents itself quite quickly. And then I have this kind of, um, as well as kind of, it's about learning the medium that I'm working with as well. So um, that can be the frustrating part, is constantly feeling like I'm also grappling, as well as grappling with an idea, I'm also grappling with a medium often feeling like this, you know, there's a saying, kind of like a jack of all trades um, and a master of none. Sometimes I feel like that, but then I think um, I'm very into the idea of being a master. So um, I, I feel, uh, for me, it's much more interesting to be able to be fluid between different mediums and ways of making and to um, be willing to try things out and maybe fail but not necessarily to kind of, um, yeah, become a master of, of, of one medium or one um, thing. I mean, it is important for me that the people I work with, there's a conversation and it's, it's always amazing what you can learn from somebody coming from a different discipline. Um, so I, I work a lot with this dancer, Benjamin Ord, who I met when we were teenagers in Auckland and he um, since went off and um, pursued dancing and yeah I, I kind of see our collaborations as more of this kind of conversation around friendship, around life and around the, the two disciplines that we're involved in. Uh, with The Fourth Notebook I was looking at this a letter that Nijinsky had written as he was slipping into schizophrenia and it's this letter that cannot be tra translated from the original French because he became more interested in the sound of words than their meanings. And I really was interested in this kind of slipping of words from their meaning. And so I used, I had the letter read out as a score and then Benny Ord, who I collaborate with, created a choreography. And then I ended up basically using really editing this quite brutally actually and I think for me I was thinking of the Rite of Spring and Nijinsky's choreography that's very kind of uh, brutal and quite hard especially in the Rite of Spring and um, and kind of using editing quite brutally to to cut and roll the body and and cut the body and cut the choreography um, and then and I, what I was interested in is that I realised in reading this letter, because Nijinsky wasn't dancing at the time because he was kind of slipping, he was really ill. He, but in reading this letter, I realised that he was dancing through writing and he was creating rhythm and he was creating movement and there were things that were very similar to ballet exercises, like this repeating of words over and over again and then transitioning into another rhythm. Um, or another kind of exercise and and that kind of became interesting for me in thinking about what I do as a maker and, and how I use these different tools so filmmaking and image making which is filmmaking I guess, and sculpture and uh, working with dance and then thinking about and then writing becoming another tool and then realizing that each of these different mediums demand a different part of the body and realising that when I write, I write from a different part of the body is when I think about object making or sculpture making and I think from a different part of the body when I'm thinking about film or a moving image. Yeah, so I think uh, my work in incorporates um, narrative, fiction, and autobiography 
and um, often historical references. Um, for me, it's it's always about the space of being um, between things, um, my own kind of experience or upbringing of being kind of between two different places, so between New Zealand and Bali, and maybe not feeling 100% um, at home in, in either places. I think I've always been interested in this uh, gap between, which for me is always um, has to be or involves or is a, a kind of a space of the imagination and fiction um, and so I've often used in my work kind of references from uh, modernist periods, particularly uh, modernist dance with the Ballet Russe, and these documents that are kind of left over by what you would call kind of like official Western histories, and then um, taken on those uh, archives and re-choreographed um, dances or um, remade stories around these uh, official documents.